Hello. I know the title of this video is totally shocking and almost seems fake. Um, I will get into further detail on other videos, but I kind of want to just give an overview of my life and how I got where I am today. I am not your typical person in recovery. I still drink socially, controlled drinking, and I don't have marks from picking and I have no arrest record, which is shocking, I know. I got very lucky. I've got all my teeth, the top row being fake, which I got when I was a minor, actually. I thought I was going to be an aspiring actress, singer, model, and here I am working in marketing, not using my criminal justice degree currently. I love that for me. Anyways, I clearly grew up in an affluent area. My mom was the VP of a fixture company, big fun. My stepdad worked for Levi. Um, he was high up in the company. I think my story just goes to show money can not only not buy happiness, but it will not the most triggering noise of them all. It will not prevent you from not getting in a scenario uh, where you become a full-blown literal crackhead. So I'm just gonna go over a few things. I graduated high school right when I turned 16. So I was exposed to people who were already partying. Um, you might think, well, she's a genius. No, I was getting Literally, I was about to be kicked out of high school and I had like juvenile delinquent program or enroll in the local community college and start college and it worked out for me. It really did. Um, I ended up getting a full ride to school, to Oral Roberts University. It was a private Christian university. I thought going there would get me sober. No, no, no. Did it absolutely uh, make it worse? It was the first time I had lived out of state. I was away from my parents. I went crazy. I went crazy. I got so high that I literally decided to drop out of school with this dude. I still have his name tattooed on my finger. Let me get that off. Uh, and I gave up my whole full ride to go be with him. I had to walk with my tail in between my legs to go get that back um, when we broke up, inevitably. But it's a blessing. I am able to travel and do cool things and he is stuck with a baby, so. There's that. Anyways, uh, after Oral Roberts University, I went to Long Beach State and I majored in criminal justice. And uh, I was staying up late trying to do a court reports project. I had done coke before recreationally. Um, and my friend's like, you can't afford any more coke. Why not try this magical substance? It's only $10, you'll be high for two weeks. And boy, was she right. I went on a giant methamphetamine bender for a while. I was working at Rainforest Cafe in downtown Disney in Anaheim, California. And I met somebody. That somebody I am actually marrying in 27 days. He uh, at first was, I mean, I guess we could call him a glorified drug dealer. That's just gonna fall. And now we're getting married. Um, prior to everything going well and us both getting sober, he went to jail multiple times. Uh, thank God for COVID and reduced sentencing and uh, things like that. He has not gone back to jail. He's off probation now, thank God. But he got really into heroin. He um, is not your use, like typical user. He, when he was young, got in a hockey um, accident incident and had back surgery and he's older than me. So that was the Oxycontin epidemic. He fell victim to it. And when he couldn't get any more, if you've watched the show, Dope Sick, you know exactly where this is going. He turned to the streets and he turned to the streets for a really long time. Homelessness, jail, rehabs, uh, family relationships ruined, like, you know, the whole thing. 
Um, and by the grace of God, I'm suboxing for him. He is still sober to this day. I've got almost five years. He has, I believe, three, three and a half. Um, it's a blessing. So, I'm gonna dive more into this whole thing later on my channel, but it took me literally getting 5150 for three weeks and having to prove my sanity to get me sober. And I haven't looked, I was about to say I haven't looked back since. Every day is a struggle. Every day I want to go back to the streets, um, but I don't. And I wanna talk more about this. Um, thank you for listening, if you're still here. I appreciate it.